everyone, I've got about eight minutes to film this video because um, my dinner's going to be ready. And I'm filming in this very weird room, which you can't see that it's weird, but it is, you have to trust me, because I just set fire to the grill. And the whole house is full of acrid smoke. It is starting to creep in here, so I might die before the end of this video. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, the whole house is filled with smoke, and this is the only room that had the door shut. Uh, but I'm in here so that I don't <clears throat> asphyxiate myself. And I'm going to do August favourites. Now, before I do, I've got some very exciting news because um, I've joined the lovely fashion and beauty people at The Telegraph to do their official beauty videos. So um, you can now find me on The Telegraph website. I'll put a link in the information box. It's really, really exciting. Um, but I've filmed this video about 60 times. So the initial excitement that I had in my voice has kind of, I don't know, died down a little bit. But I'm so, so proud to be doing it. It's an amazing opportunity. And um, the team are really great to work with. I love the first video that we've done. It's a Burberry nude look for 2012, autumn, winter, and I've kind of done my version of it. And I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. So that's up already, it went up yesterday. Um, come on over, say hello, leave a comment. It'd be really nice to hear from you. And yes, I'll put the link in the information. So, August favourites. I know I'm a little bit late. <coughs> oh. Um, but actually, it's worked out quite well because August was a bit dismal weather-wise and now the sun has been out all week in September and it's supposed to be out again tomorrow so it's kind of more relevant really. I'm going to start with a fragrance. I'm going to do a separate fragrance uh, video quite soon with all of the new releases because there are some amazing ones that have just come out. This one has mixed opinion on my post that I did on modrecommends.com. Uh, I have to say it's more good than bad but few people can't stand this uh, new fragrance from Lancome. Uh, I couldn't stand it either the first time I tried it, but it's one of those ones that really grows on you. It's actually quite sweet and a little bit sickly when you smell it in the bottle, but it just kind of mellows down to this really nice, cosy, just lovely. I, I love it. I've been wearing it all the time. Uh, I'll put a link to my post on this in the information box, so if you want to go on over and add your opinion or anything like that, then please do, because uh, it's quite interesting. I always love to find out what people think about fragrances. Second thing is also fragranced, but um, it's not an actual perfume. This is the Jimmy Choo Perfumes Body Oil, and it's got like a gold shimmer to it. Um, and I think it's a really nice way of wearing a fragrance, because it just mellows down into your skin, it hangs around all day and um, it, this one does give this really sexy gold sheen. I'm just going to try and see if it shows up. It's not glittery or sparkly, it's just got this really kind of fine gold sheen to it and it's a very very sexy look. So it'd be really good for summer but also really good for Christmas. Another little gold flecked thing, uh, if you don't like wearing an oil if you don't like the texture of it. This one's got a very subtle shimmer, but it's in a cream, so you don't have any kind of oily, greasy, sticky finish, whatever. Um, what's this one? I'll put a link to this in the information box. I'll link to everything so people worldwide can find things more easily. This has got a gorgeous orange blossom smell. Really, really beautiful. You don't need to wear a perfume over it, but you could layer one if you wanted to. And it just has very, again, um, subtle gold shimmer so it catches the light but it's not glittery. Very very sophisticated. While I'm on a thread of orange blossom or orangey type things, this is the new Be Lovely range from Neil Gerald Remedies and um, although it's very centred on honey because it's a save the bees range, uh, they're helping because bees are in trouble apparently. I love the word bees um, but bees are struggling to survive so uh, they're helping out with this range. Although it's very honey scented, it's actually very orangey. Um, so, very nice combination. This is the hand wash, but there's a body lotion, a body wash, I've got those in the bathroom, I'm using those loads recently. A lip balm and a hand cream, I think. I think I've got that right. But all very lovely. Neil's Yard Remedies is, is always lovely. One more orange blossom thing, if I can find it, a hut. And this is by Nukes. Now, 
Nukes have launched this new range called Creme Fresh de Beauté and it's for sensitive skins. And this is the mattifying one for combination skin that makes a really, really, bless you, makes a really, really nice uh, makeup base. <clears throat> but the one thing that I will say about this range is that it's very heavily scented. Now, it smells of orange blossom, um, but loads. So if you're not into fragrance products or if you're sensitive to fragrance, I mean, it's kind of weird to have that much fragrance in a sensitive skin range, if I'm honest. Um, but if you <clears throat> find that you don't react to it, then it's absolutely fine. It's a really beautiful scent. And it's almost stronger than a perfume. So, I don't know, I think there'll be mixed reviews on this actually, but I really like it as a day cream underneath my foundational tinted moisturiser. Another skincare thing that I've been using loads recently, because I've had very stressed temperamental skin, is this perfecting cream and it's like a day cream for young skin, young temperamental skin. I think it's got glycolic in it. Um, but anyway, it's kind of gently exfoliating throughout the day. You must wear an SPF on top, so make sure you've got an SPF in your foundation or whatever you're using on top. Um, but it's just a really nice, <clears throat> simple day cream. Really like that. Another great thing for in the morning, um, this one's a lot more expensive, this is by Skinceuticals, and this is the Floritin CF Gel, and it's basically a really, really powerful antioxidant, so it's just helping your skin kind of defend itself from environmental aggressors and things like that, which is quite important. Antioxidants are really important in your skincare, I think, and this is just a really nice way of getting that hit of protection in the morning. So you use this as a serum underneath your moisturiser, and I really like this one. Garnier BB Cream, using it pretty much every day if I'm not wearing a foundation. I just think this is amazing. This is an oil-free version, um, and I spoke about this in my budget video quite recently, but just reaffirming the fact that I really like it and I've been using it a lot. Foundation brushes, I've been getting into my foundation brushes, so I've stopped being so lazy, and actually because I've been filming for The Telegraph, um, <clears throat> I have been spending a little bit more time looking at the tools that I've been using and um, doing a bit more research before I start my videos. And these three are really good. I like them a lot. This is a Japanese one and it's really angled so you can really get into kind of all those crevices and everything. It leaves a really nice finish. This one is also angled. This is from... This is the Real Techniques one. Yes, it is. This is Real Techniques. Um, so it's Pixie Boo brush. And this leaves <clears throat> a lovely finish as well. Really, really nice. This one's slightly softer, I suppose. So it does feel nice for blending it around the hairline and things like that. Then this one is a new one from Dior. This one's very expensive. Um, and this has come out with the new foundation, I think. I think this is new. This is almost like a stipple effect or kabuki brush effect. It's very stiff bristles. You've got it angled, but it's more effective this one, it's just kind of buffing in. You can still get that corner into the creases, but it just buffs and it leaves this really airbrushed finish. I just love the feel of the brush as well, it's got this tapered handle, really, really nice. So uh, I'll do another video on brushes soon, but I just wanted to kind of bring those ones up, I suppose. Just a couple of quick things to go, because I think I've gone way over my eight minutes that I need to do it in. Um, Calvin Klein have brought out a makeup range, CK1 makeup and it's quite kind of modern, funky packaging, quite young, but I really like this blush duo because it's got this cream blush. You just put on with your fingertips. And then it's got this powder side and it just kind of sets it in place. Really, really nice idea, I think, that. And this colour is Breath. Slightly odd. Um, name for a blusher, but there we go. So powder over the top, and it just gives this really nice glow. Really nice for autumn, actually, taking that little pop of colour on the cheeks through. Um, and then another thing that I love, powder-wise, this is the Clarins Face Powder. Face and blush powder, but it's just really pale, and I really like the pattern on it. And it's great for using as an actual face powder if you've got a bit of a tan. It just gives this little bit of glow. 
So really like that. It's kind of more of an appearance thing really. But if you liked the Dior Nude Glow um, Powder Compact, then you'll really like this as well. It's very, very similar. It's just got that hint of pink running through it. Just one last thing that I wanted to mention. This is the Benefit Magic Ink and it's a liquid liner. And I did these eyes about 11 hours ago and you can see that they have broken up a little bit. Um, but they're still jet, jet black. I think this is amazing. It's really good eyeliner. Um, I actually judged it for the Cosmo Beauty Awards last year and kind of forgot about it, but it just gives this really good line. And um, they're a bit wonky, my eye flicks, but I've been practicing my eye flicks recently. So I think this is a very good option. Takes a bit of I don't know, it's a learning curve using liquid liner, I always think, and I still find pencils easier, but if you want that kind of jet black intense line, this is brilliant. So that is it, I can hear that my dinner's ready, got to run, this video's taken loads longer than I expected, and, uh, but I'm still alive because I haven't died of smoke inhalation, so that's quite good. Make sure you go across and have a look at the Telegraph video, leave me a comment, and I shall see you on here next time.